election fever has gripped the country. 18th Lok Sabha polls has already kicked off in country on Friday and it is to be held in seven phases. In Punjab, the elections are to be held in last phase on June 1. The political parties, they have begun campaigning to influence voters. Let's take opinion from showroom owners, manufacturers, traders, what, how they take this election and what are their expectations from this Lok Sabha election. So we are having with us Sanju Tirji, Chairman, Ludhiana Woolen Manufacturing Association. Sir, like elections are around the corner, what are your expectations regarding this election? Sir, the election is happening, we don't have to do it. लेकिन आज तक जिन्हें भी सरकार आई हैं, साड़ी लुधियाना बोलन मनवैक्टिंग एसोसिएशन हूँ, जहाँ नेटवर्क कला बनूं, ये तो मैं चेयर में हैं ना, सानू एक पैसे तो कोई फायदा नहीं होया, नायडा ने सानू कोई ग्राउंड जितने भी जितने ऐसी एडिबिशन ला सकी है, उन सात जुलाई तो नौ जुलाई तक ऐसी यही सानु सरकार ने कोई ग्राउंड बना के देती हो वजह आगे पीछे ना हाल देता होगे ये साढ़ा खर्चा ना होगे जाता का सिर्फ जड़ी जड़ी सरकार रूप गया है जो दो इलेक्शन आंधी है हर बंदा कहना तो अली मंगा बनना है साड़ी किसने कोई मांग नहीं मनी जाए तक ते सर जिमे ट्रांसपोर्टेशन नू लेके जे गल करिए लुधियाने � सर हलवारा स्टेशन हूँ पहला कांग्रेस कहते हैं जैसे चला रहे हैं मान सरकार आई नू तीन साल हो गए एक पहला काम नहीं होया अगर हलवारा स्टेशन चाल पर भें एयरबोर्ड ते अच्छे है ना काम बाजे भें जिधर चेन्नई या त्रिपुर जा रहे हैं काम और सारा काम लोग दिखाने आवे और कोई भी सरकार ऐसा वाल गालवाल ते � what are the other issues that industries are facing, whether it is regarding fuel, uh, electricity or labor shortage? Labor shortage is very important. Because the yogi who does work is the same. They don't have any money. If they say that they have 400 rupees, they get the money. If they say that they have 15,000 rupees, they get the money. They get the money through the car. 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 किस टाइप दी पॉलिसीज़ तो सी एक्सPECT कर दें कि जेडीवी सरकार आए और किस टाइप दी इंडस्ट्रियल पॉलिसीज़ पर लेके आए सारा सरकार आनु क्या है क्या था क्या सी कोई सरकार इंडस्ट्री सुधार नहीं कर दी सारी सरकार थर्डी बोर्ड देख दी है और साड़ी बिजनेसमैन को कुछ नहीं समझी जात की सब तो वध बिजनेस वर्ल्ड की सारी फ्लाइटा उसे उत्तर साधियाँ और कोई सरकार भी ऐसे कामनों काम करने उत्ते आ रही नहीं है कि ना आना वाले आना ऐसे काल बाल अपनी बोटा वाले आना है जो तो जरूरत है उनका आरकार जाके बोटा मंगन के काम कोई नहीं करना बात चलने ना देखना किसने We are having with us Sonu ji from Nilibar Ludhiana Sonu ji like Lok Sabha elections are around the corner and political parties they are have started campaigning being a businessman, being a showroom owner, what are your expectations? How you see this Lok Sabha elections? See, uh, Lok Sabha election is uh, actually a very important thing for us when we have the right to vote and we can select our candidates. Uh, but the problem becomes that uh, most of the time the candidates which have you know been winning from, let's say, our state, uh, they didn't have the uh, government in the center for last about 10 years. Uh, and... Uh, now we think that uh, we always think that a, a member of parliament should be thinking from this aspect that what does Punjab require? And I feel that uh, for Punjab, the most important thing is that how can we create jobs in this state? And for that, I think we have to have industries, bigger industries, bigger projects coming to our state. This can only be brought if all the members of parliaments are on the same page, irrespective of which party they belong. And if they start thinking that, you know, uh, that we are going to get them industries here, uh, like what has we have seen in Gujarat and uh, Maharashtra, what transformation, uh, if you probably travel to these states, you find that there's so much job uh, has been created that people or students or the young boys after the graduation or after the schooling don't have to move out of this country. 
uh, we find it's a young brain drain happening in our state. I would say it's exodus uh, that every child who's just uh, uh, clearing his 12th is not even uh, looking to stay back because he's not uh, seeing any hope of any job. And he feels that he's got the talent and we are finding that same talent is working hard in places like Canada, Australia and doing well for themselves. I uh, personally want that government should be uh, thinking that whichever comes that, you know, make sure that few big industries come in in this state. So AIMS are coming in Jammu. AIMS are, you know, NI, uh, FT is coming in uh, Srinagar. But these kind of things have not come in Punjab. I would say that, you know, even if they're coming, they're coming next to Chandigarh. But I would, wouldn't want that Ludhiana, Jalandhar, Amritsar belt should have all these things which would help that people uh, after their education can pursue the future uh, in Ludhiana or Jalandhar and these belt. So what are the long pending demand of the industry? I think the long pending demand is that uh, sometime uh, there's only one, I believe, you know, uh, after the focal point, there was some cycle par park created or, you know, textile park. But these are very small things. Uh, we have to have something like SEZs coming in. And I would want that the bigger companies or, you know, multinationals start investing in uh, Punjab. But you don't find that, you know, is the Japanese investment coming in or the, you know, German investment coming in. Uh, irrespective, you know, they are not looking. Uh, no, we don't find us in anybody's, uh, you know, mind also or thought also that we have to set up our base in Punjab. And if they start coming in, you know, and we will have jobs and prosperity is always with the growth of industry in that state. And I think we are presently, we are lacking a lot. So when we compare us, you know, presently the government debt of GST, which comes out every month, uh, we are nowhere near, uh, you know, uh, Haryana. And I think if I'm not wrong, uh, maybe, you know, they are about three times the collection of GST. Obviously, the collection of GST means for the state is that more revenue is coming in and more taxes are being collected and they are being spended on that state also. No? That like Punjab, if they if Haryana has got, maybe it's coming from only one place, Gurgaon or Faridabad, but end of the day, the whole of Haryana is prospering because it is the prerogative of the government to where to spend the state government. And here, if the funds are not coming in, how will you manage, you know, I, I would say any uh, state needs a lot of, uh, you know, uh, infrastructure development and also a lot of, you know, handholding for the industry to grow. Uh, what what do you uh, what do you think like Im regarding import and export policy uh, there should be there for the industry? See, we are a landlocked state. We don't have a, you know, uh, we don't have a port. So our next door, next door is what we have, like, you know, two states lined up and one side is, uh, you know, and a neighboring country. I would say that, you know, some kind of benefits should be there. I, I believe the government is making the freight corridor. Uh, but it takes time for all these things to be created. By the time, I think there should be some benefit uh, to the industries of Punjab when they are exporting uh, to, you know, this, this their product. Because the only difference is freight. If somebody sets up a... Even I, I believe people from Ludhiana have set up their industries in Gujarat because the freight cost becomes very uh, uh, limited and it helps them in, in selling the product internationally because freight is also a big component of their price. Uh, what do you want to say regarding uh, Ludhiana's connectivity with other states in terms of uh, railways and in terms of air connectivity? I'm very sorry to say, you know, I've been into business for more than 30 years. Uh, I would say Chandigarh, Chandigarh was nowhere near Ludhiana. Uh, there was no live everything because dead at 6.30, 7 o'clock. But if you see now, Chandigarh has become, because of the air connectivity, uh, it's become the hub of activity. Kids wants to study in Chandigarh. They want to stay in Mohali and Chandigarh if they're not able to afford Chandigarh. Or Panchkula, lifestyle is better, education is better, and obviously cleanliness is also better. And even the even uh, law and order situation is better because they are not governed by any of our state uh, powers, which, you know, we can uh, flaunt our relations. So everybody is very cautious staying in Chandigarh. I think uh, with Ludhiana being not connected for last, maybe I think 30 years has been the worst thing happening. No foreign buyers like to come by road. And I feel that we have lost this big opportunity. And I would not say that you can ever cover up on this. 
so uh, recently there was an <coughs> amendment in income tax what kind of uh, uh, you think uh, there should be changes in the income tax what kind of tax regime you you want i would say tax regime is little higher on the higher side uh, it should be brought down that uh, you know it's not about taxing uh, tax structure is like a, a like like a personal yeah. income a person like me is it's about 40% now and it's a lot of tax uh, i would say if the tax uh, structure is brought down to a level government is trying then probably people will uh, you'll find less people you know trying to you know evade taxes and uh, this can be done you know should be you should provide them some benefits or you should honor those people who are paying uh, taxes uh, you know they're good tax payers in every category is maybe a small category also you should i would say when you differentiate between a micro uh, you know a small and medium category msme what we call industries uh, they should be uh, in every category you should award people who are paying good taxes and if you start honoring people uh, people feel feel you know uh, they feel the urge to pay more taxes and and they feel that if they are being honest they are being rewarded by the uh, government so as you talked about msme there was a recent amendment regarding section 43 bh what do you see uh, about that section see uh, i uh, you know was part of the body which was trying to you know tell the government that uh, you're bringing uh, Uh, which was a very uh, you know i would say a very very uh, uh, a difficult uh, provision which says that if you are not paying your your supplier M msme means especially the micro and the small uh, which is basically uh, till 50 crores category if you're not playing a manufacturer in 45 days uh, in the end of the financial year that uh, you know uh, exemption what you have taken in your as a purchase will be added to your uh, will be uh, you know uh you will be charged for those uh, you know benefits of you will not avail the benefit and uh, in a way it was good that a lot of people you know used to get the bogus billing done and uh, later on uh, they used to forget that in the in a year they could you know take as many bills which they never had to pay or uh, now because the government was a little tight on this and uh, a lot of people complained that uh, especially the uh, micro sector that people don't pay us on time and they wanted this uh, you know uh, thing that there should be some deterrent that people should start paying taxes uh, you know their their payments on time uh, but what is the other side what has happened is that you know you force something that people uh, industry like in ludhiana like hosri it takes about 4 to 6 months to produce a product and now you expect and also that like let's say hosri so uh, the hosri manufacturer starts in april his production he starts supplying uh, the to the uh, stores by september his payments start coming by january and sometime uh, if the products are being ordered let's say reordered in uh, january or december if it is very cold in india the payments come maybe the next of next financial year so people always had a you know a buffer margin kept in them they you know it's okay because the relation with their uh, you know buyers have been for maybe generations and most of the people you know maybe they were paying late and but they were paying now suddenly you come with something that you have to start paying in 45 days which is very difficult so you have start you are actually disrupting a business cycle and it is not only if it affected if you ask any of the manufacturers or the suppliers which were under you know uh, micro and uh, small category uh, that what about your orders they said we did not get any orders after january people were very reluctant to buy and also there were so many goods return and also the business moved to the medium category that is 50 crores because you were not bound to pay them uh, it's the same you know msme part where 50 crore if you buy from somebody who is above 50 crore turnover you don't have to pay in them in 45 days so people the business shift was there from you know uh, from a category that is micro and small to the medium category and and people thought that the business will come back in april it has not come back people have not people are happy working with medium category maybe they were a little expensive he said why should i get the hassle of paying in 45 days so recently i just had uh, uh, 4 days back uh, our uh, honorable finance minister she was in uh, uh, jaipur and there was an industry which you know questioned and on you know her on this only that we have lost so much business she said why do you have to worry if you know her you know narrative was changed on that day maybe it was more political she said that you know if you and i can quote you i'll i'll share the video also with you she quoted that if you even if you buy in july you can clear your payments till march 
how this is possible one time you are saying that you know pay in 45 days you know and there is not even a provision that you can uh, have an agreement of you know more than 45 days and suddenly she was changing her narrative but i think uh, the government has not been briefed uh, very well uh, regarding the payments uh, being paid or on time or not on time uh, they have just gone by few people uh, but it has really uh, affected the industry especially the people they wanted to give benefit that was the micro category uh, i think the benefit has gone to the medium category the rich uh, or the bigger uh, players so sometimes the government uh, tries to do things uh, which they are being told by few people or the you know officers but it is not the truth i think if they have come down to actual ground realities this was not a good decision i would say uh, this should be uh, presently you know either they should take it back or maybe you know the number of days should be increased from 45 to at least uh, 90 days that everybody can pay on time so industrialists demand better infrastructure in the city as ludhiana is an industrial town they want better air connectivity and want that halwara airport should get ready as soon as possible and uh, they was, uh, they said that uh, when there will be an air connectivity from the town they can easily get foreign customers uh, uh, to uh, to this manchester of punjab Uh, apart from that uh, they want that big units should come up and establish their unit in in punjab so that uh, our youngsters can get better employment opportunities amarpal singh with cameraman manoj siddhu dasvera